Hey awesome art students! Hope you guys are having a great day. Today I want to show you this fun project we're going to do. Isn't that awesome? It is a jungle tiger collage and the awesome thing about Henri Rousseau who we're studying this month is that he did a ton of jungle paintings and a lot of them involved tigers. And the coolest thing about it, though, is that he never had gone to a jungle before he started painting all these incredible jungle pictures. And so what he would do is he'd go to the botanical gardens in the city, he'd go to um, forests and different places like that so he could imagine what it would be like. And he created his work by imagining, because I've never been to a jungle either, but it's kind of fun to think about what a tiger would look like peeking out from the foliage around him. So here we go. Okay guys, we're going to get all of our supplies together for our art project today. You're going to need some different colors of construction paper. The first being the background. This looks kind of teal with the light in here, but it's actually a dark blue. So this is a dark blue background and this is going to be what we're going to glue all of our pieces onto. The next is you're going to need an orange sheet. This is for our tiger. Then I've got some paper scraps here and you're going to need a green and a yellow and those are for our leaves. Then you're also going to need some scissors for cutting out our pieces. You're also going to need some oil pastels. So we're pretty much just going to use two colors today. We're going to use a black and we're also going to use a yellow, which I kind of have just a few <laughs> little pieces of. You could also take out your light green. That might be one that you might use too. Now the first thing we're going to do with our project is we're going to draw the tiger. So I'd like for you to put your orange paper vertically and we're going to start out with his eyes. So we're just going to put two round black eyes right in the middle of our paper. The next is we're going to draw his nose. And so a tiger's nose, they have kind of two little lines that go out, almost like a little scarecrow nose, and then one line that connects. And then we're going to draw an upside down triangle. So we have it go down to a V and down to a V. And then we're going to come back on in black. You see how it's a tiger now? <laughs> All right. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to put a circle for right around where his mouth is going to be. So that circle is going to start right above the black nose. We're just going to go around and back up. Now he needs a little smile. So we're going to take two little, almost like a fish hook. We're going to take one fish hook out this way and one fish hook out that way. Okay, so we've got our tiger face. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw its head and this head is going to go kind of around all of the face that we have just drawn. So it's almost like the shape of a lima bean. So right in the middle of the circle, we're just going to go around just like and then we're going to want to draw some ears. So there's an inside to the ear and an outside to the ear. And an inside to his ear and an outside to his ear. Okay? And then it looks so much like a cute bear right now, right? Now we need to make him a tiger. So he needs to have some stripes. Let's give him some stripes, some nice stripes on his top of his head. Let's do some stripes on the side. Do some stripes on this other side. Okay, 
he's got some good stripes now and maybe he wanted to make them whiskers. He is a big cat after all, right? <laughs> okay, then we're going to want to draw his body. So his body is really easy. We're just going to draw um, just shoulders. So right about here at the base of his head, we're just going to do shoulders down and just do the other on the other side. Okay, so that's how we're going to draw our tiger. Now we'll also probably want to do some stripes on that too. It's up to you. You can do some stripes. And he's just going to be peeking up from the bottom of our page, just like that. Now, sweet friends, you're going to want to cut out your whole tiger. Now, we're going to cut this tiger out and then we're going to set it aside and then we're going to make the leaves. Got our tiger we're going to put him over to the side and now we're going to work on some leaves now with our leaves we can draw just a basic leaf which should be like a rainbow let's do it this way so a rainbow with another rainbow down below so that'd be a leaf and remember with our leaves they always have that vein down the middle and like some veins out to the side like this. Okay, so why don't we draw a few of those leaves, rainbow and then another one and just do our, our veins and there can be big huge leaves like that and then maybe this little tiny leaf. Bunch of good leaves. Okay, now that I have a few leaves on this side, I'm also going to want to do some leaves on my yellow to make it kind of change it up a little bit. So, we're just going to do more leaves like this. But this time, I'm going to take a little bit of my green and I might give my leaves a little bit of a green look to them too. So they're kind of yellowish and greenish. That looks cool. There's a big one over there. And leaves are all different shapes and sizes. Okay guys, the next step is going to be to cut out all of these leaves.
got our yellow leaves. We've got our green leaves. We've got our tiger. We have got our background. So now, friends, you need a glue stick. All right, now it's time for us to place our pieces on the background. And this is the time where you can decide you can either do it horizontally or vertically, whichever one that you choose. I'm going to go with horizontally. So before I glue anything down, I'm going to just put all of my um, pieces on my paper to make sure that I like where it is. So all you're going to want to do is with Rousseau's paintings, he always made a really lush foliage kind of background. And so we're just going to add a lot of different leaves in here, kind of coming in from the side, different directions, however you like it. So I'm just kind of placing these different places and seeing what I like. And it's okay if it covers up some of your Some of your tiger, it's totally okay if he gets kind of covered a little bit in there. So now that I have all those figured out on my paper, I'm going to start gluing them down. Okay, so I'll just start gluing those. Okay, and don't forget the last step. Somewhere on your paper, you always want to sign it. This is Logan. It's right there. So there we go. That's our surprise tiger collage. I think it looks great. And you guys, I'm so excited to see all your awesome tigers. Have fun. Bye.